how much of an entrepreneur nerd are you? Will you join me for a whiteboard session while I build my startup in public? You might ask, what's this? This is my 7075 aluminum pointer that I'm gonna use for the whiteboard session. Let's go. Here's the vision, promptly3d.ai. Users go to this site and you prompt what you want into existence by typing and describing it in text. Promptly 3D generates a step file, bill of materials, 2D drawing, renderings as the output. That is the engineering deliverable. And it's just token credits, right? If you want to order that part or that assembly, there's a whole bunch of vendors that are plugged into this. And these are vendors of all different categories. So there's actual manufacturers all the way down to just like somebody with a garage, somebody with a desktop 3D printer, let's say a lab. They are all available as vendors. Their specific quality constraints are used in the AI prompt that create internal system prompt that creates these parts. So it is appropriate for the cost of the part, the type of thing you're designing, everything. Let's say the part being prompted is too complex for this output because let's say it's still 2025 and our workflows aren't developed enough yet. Those get kicked over to a too difficult parts bin and a quoting engine. In that quoting engine, we have humans plugged in, engineer one, engineer two, designer one, designer two. Whoever it is, they are plugged in there so that they can fill in the gaps for what the AI cannot. That is your output there. And then that can also then be manufactured by the manufacturers, the vendors. The value of the site, if you're a vendor, simply put, you plug in, you get projects and work you can do on your own, make money. So it's like a gig economy in that sense. The value to inventors and other engineers and designers is you go to this site and you prompt your step file into existence and then you can order it at bottom dollar. And then the person making it is gonna make the most amount of money because there's no middleman in this system. Let's get real wild in the limit sense. Let's say my piece of 7075 aluminum, I just have it laying around and I wanna turn it into something. I wanna sell it. Well, maybe I prompt this as a material that I have and I want to turn it into something. What do I turn it into that I could then have it manufactured and sell it for something that's top dollar? Maybe I have a little lathe and I wanna do this in my own garage. You could just as easily use it as your tool to optimize what this will become and how you will sell it. I'm gonna wrap this video up with the elephant in the room. And I've got to say this in a way that doesn't get me limited in my views here, because I fully expect this to bomb to hell and back already. I don't think intellectual property can exist when AI takes over in the limit sense. So promptly 3D, I would love to make this site intellectual property agnostic. Yes, that sounds horrible, but guess who in the world operates that way? Guess who in the world is beating everyone else in the world? Guess who in the world is sucking away the manufacturing jobs from everyone else in the world, right? I think AI has to operate that way because that is the model with which you innovate crazily and prolifically and you make all kind of stuff quickly and for lowest cost. That is what AI is gonna figure out, it's inevitable. So we better be ready to ditch the IP, ditch the patents and just start making stuff. That's how the future is gonna go, in my opinion. Thanks for watching, adios.